Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Will's Walkarounds. Today we got our hands on the F250 Platinum thanks to our friends at OzMV. Let's go check out some features and see why it's the king of toe. Starting off with that exterior, I think the first thing that hits me would have to be that iconic design. I mean, exactly like our F150 in the way that they've, they've taken past designs from the 80s, the 90s, the early 2000s, even the 70s, and they've developed this, uh, this super duty shape. Um, very cool, very unique. Obviously, platinum trim, so you get the, uh, the specialized platinum grill. Uh, as well as we've got the, uh, the weather shield here as well, which is a unique feature to the, uh, the Super Duty range and, and unique to uh, the different options on the market as well. You know, Ram don't do anything like that, as well as Chevy as well. So very cool in that regard. Uh, we got the tow hooks down the bottom. Um, and along with our grill, we got the, uh, the updated LED headlights on either side. Uh, that comes with the fog lamps as well. And we got a little guard down the bottom to stop rocks and things from getting in our uh, in our engine bay there, so so very cool. Uh, we move around to the side. Uh, obviously, huge clearance height on these, so very easy just to chuck on aftermarket wheels and tires. You do have the uh, the aluminum 20-inch wheels on this one, the polished uh, chrome look, uh, but easy enough to to swap on anything you'd want in in terms of methods or fuels and uh, some aftermarket tires as well, and put 33s to 35s on these quite easily uh, with that big clearance height. Uh, we got the uh, F250 Platinum badging and uh, 6.7 litre power stroke turbo diesel badging on the side there. Uh, and we got our tow mirrors. So, king of tow, you want to have those towing features like the towing mirrors in, in, integrated into the F250. Um, they, they come with some features like um, heating and blind spot monitoring. So, really, really cool uh, when you are towing as well. Uh, we look at our, our remote entry here and, and we open our door, we got the electric side steps. Probably the, one of the coolest features that Ford would do in those, uh, those upper level trims like the Platinum and the Limited is those, uh, those electric side steps. Let's move around the back. Again, our wheels here um, and a bit of a high lift at the back for our towing, of course. Uh, we got the, the dual chrome tipped uh, exhaust there uh, coming out the side. So again, not like the Ram or the Chevy that comes out the back. We got it coming out the side. So another cool little feature. Uh, we got the 4X4, FX4, sorry, off-road uh, decal on the side. So it does have that group uh, which comes with some off-road features which, uh, which makes it that little bit more special. Uh, jumping around the back, we can see uh, we, we got the big platinum uh, badging on the back and Super, du super Duty uh, displayed on the back there on the tailgate. Uh, we got the two and a half inch hitch, um, so awesome for our towing. Anderson plug, and uh, I'll get my key out because um, we do have the, uh, the remote tailgate drop. And we'll drop that, dampened as well. Tailgate bed step, um, as well as we've got the, uh, the trailer wiring on the side, so um, easy enough to get aftermarket, uh, and you can set up all your wiring for your camper, your trailer, your boat, um, any of that that you're towing. So another cool feature and another reason why it's the king of the tow. So let's get on the inside and check out those interior features. Let's get in and check out this interior. Side steps. I mean. I'm six foot five, but for those uh, more vertically challenged people, uh, that sidestep is a big addition and a big plus. Um, I mean, it even helps me get in here without working too hard. So um, I don't even have the seat all the way pushed back here and I've, I've got plenty enough room. Um, but again, full electric seats, so you can change them however you like, up, down, back, forth, um, as, as well as your lumbar support. So. Awesome little feature. Now, when I get in here, the first thing I notice is that detailing. It's luxurious, right? That's what you want out of a top of the line trim like the Platinum. You've got the wood grain, you've got the leather, you've got the stitching, all different colors. So it's integrated in and it's like a tri-color in here. You've got the chrome, you've got the black, you've got the, uh, the burgundy stitching as well. So, you know, obviously that'll, that'll change per uh, color that you option in for your, your F250, but I think the, uh, the black suits it very nicely uh, as you still get that sort of tri-color look to it. Um, 
some other features. Uh, we got our locking on the doors, we got all our, uh, all our window and mirror controls on the sides of the doors there as well. We got all our lighting here, so automatic headlights, so you don't need to worry about that too much. Um, you've got your drive modes on your stick over here, um, as well as we've got our, uh, our big twin panel moonroof. So if I open up the shade here, it, uh, it goes all the way to the back. Uh, so the kids in the back get a view of the roof as well. Um, but again, it's a feature that's integrated into the F250 that isn't a part of uh, other brands like uh, your Chevy or your Ram, so uh, in that heavy duty range. Uh, so very unique feature in the Super Duties. Uh, we got our Bang & Olsen sound system. Um, so again, upgraded sound system in the Platinums, which, which, which is what you want with a, with a top of the line trim. Um, and then if I, if I take the camera here, uh, we'll go through some other features. I mean, I'm really comfortable in this seating and it is, uh, it is top of the line seats, leather seats here with the Platinum. So there's a good, good look at the, uh, the leather seats. Now they're heated and vented as well as uh, heated in the back for the kids. So they're not gonna complain that you've got all the, uh, all the tools up front. Um, we got our big 12 inch infotainment unit. At the, uh, at the helm of the, the truck here. So uh, all your phone controls, you've got uh, wireless Android Auto as well as Apple CarPlay. So no matter what phone you got, you're covered here, uh, as well as some other little settings and your, your cameras and, and things like that. So uh, very, very cool. Uh, King of Toe, so obviously some time features in here. You've got your exhaust brake, really important when you're, uh, when you're hauling heavy. Um, as well as you got your traction control, hazard lights up here, uh, hill descent control, lane departure, and uh, your cameras, as I said. Um, all your climate down the bottom here, the heated vented seats, like I said, as well as uh, all, your, all your auto uh, climate controls there as well. Uh, we got all our drive modes over here, so uh, two high, four high, four low, as well as uh, your rear uh, diff lock or axle lock there, so you just pull that out and uh, and it locks in. You got your 12 volt here um, as well, so chuck your adapter in there. You got another extra charger, but you do have your wireless charging pad down here, uh, which you can chuck your phone in while you while you've got it on a wireless Android Auto or CarPlay, um, as well as your USB charger and your USB C charger. Uh, you got all your little seat. Um, features that you need, so uh, your cup trays and your little, um, you know, holding areas as well there. So very, very cool. Uh, we got our setting console there. You know, big, huge space. You could, you could pretty much chuck anything you want in there. Um, and then we jump onto our. I'll start it up and straighten the steering wheel a bit. Uh, but we started on. We got our steering wheel here. So uh, we've got all our uh, dash to go through our little LED dash screen on there. So um, you can go your speedo, you can check your tire pressure, uh, you can figure what you see basically uh, and you can customise it completely to what you, you want there. Um, as well on here we got our adaptive cruise, another little safety feature that's very cool and then we got all our uh, infotainment buttons there, so our volume, skips, mute, uh, as well as our little telephone controls there. Uh, but that is the, uh, the basics of our interior. Uh, we do have some AUX switches up there that have been added onto this uh, F250, so you can customize them however you want with anything that you get aftermarket. Uh, but yeah, this has been the, the basics. Um, you know, some more little towing features down here. So you got your trailer little backup assist there, so you can actually uh, turn the trailer with that. Uh, as well as you got your integrated trailer brake controller there. Um, but that's the interior of the F-150, uh, F-250, sorry. Uh, let's jump out and go through some, uh, some performance specs. Let's get into all our favorite part, the performance. Let's open up that hood. Woo! 6.7 liter V8 turbo diesel power stroke engine. Uh, unique and exclusive to the Super Duty range. Um, but what, what can I say about this engine? I mean, it pumps out over 475 horsepower, over a thousand foot pound of torque. Uh, that's where you get all that, 
all that towing. Uh, so configured correctly, you get up to nine ton towing capacity. So that'll cover pretty much anything you can think of recreational towing wise, right? That'll get the caravan, that'll get the boat, that'll get the trailer. Don't you worry about that. Now, uh, you got over a 4.8 ton GVM, which means you've got over a ton, almost a ton and a half of payload. So anything that you tow, anything that you're hauling, you won't have any worries, all right? So you can put the kids in there, you can put the family in there, you can fill it full of gas, you can have your water for the weekend, you can have your canopy on the back. Uh, it's, it's the perfect base to build whatever you want because you can, you can put heavy amounts on this truck. You know, 1.4 tonne exactly. Um, you've got the leaf springs in the back which help with that as well. That's, that's where you get that 1.4 tonne payload and that's where you get that 9 tonne uh, towing capacity. Uh, it, it's all in the leaf springs that they put in the Super Duties. Um, but that's, that's the performance side of things. I mean, the only thing that we missed is that 10 speed transmission under your foot. Uh, that comes with a feature called Smart Shift. Uh, and it'll skip gears between one and 10 uh, to make that drive that little bit more smoother and that towing that little bit more easier. Um, you know, paired along with the exhaust brake, the towing mirrors, this really is the king of tow. But let's go for a drive and I'll give you my final thoughts on that. So I've been driving this for a little bit now and I can certainly certainly say this is a driving experience like none other. You can really feel the power of that 6.7 litre V8 turbo diesel under your foot and you can certainly hear it. You can't hear it right now because this, this cab really isolates the sound from outside but um, you put the window down you can certainly hear it under your foot um, which, is, which is just unreal. Uh, paired along with that 10 speed transmission this thing drives in, insanely smooth. Um, it, it, it skips shifts, it skips gears when it needs to, um, and it's, it's just a really cool feature. Uh, you've got all the towing features in this one, um, and I can see why it's the perfect tow vehicle. You've got the mirrors, uh, you've got the obviously the power, you've got the, the ability to haul, um, as well as the trailer brake controller, the trailer backup um, assistance, uh, the exhaust brake, all of it. it. It's just all paired together and I can I can certainly see why it is the king of tow. Um, but paired along with that you've got the, the luxury of the F-150 that they've basically been able to replicate in the bigger truck um, and I think that's certainly something that is is uh, a difference maker compared to your Ram or your Chevy. Um, but to be honest if you want any more information on this and any more sort of detailed specs get in contact with the boys at OzMV. Um, they'll certainly be able to put you in the vehicle that is, is right for your needs and, and for you. Um, I've been Will, this has been Will's Walkarounds. Thanks for joining me again. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.